Hi right, guys, so it's Father's Day in the UK today. We're gonna to try celebrate it by trying to go to Alexandria if our daughter lets us, because she gets quite car sick and she'll just kick off. And today is Ross, Rossilli in this local area, I think. Um, they celebrate by giving each other rice pudding. Uh, that's all I know. Uh, we're off to go get some rice pudding now. weird custom for this Rosselli but this is how they do it they do like little gift baskets like this in remembrance for the dead people um, rice pudding an egg some cosmonaut which is like a bread this one's getting a beer and they even give them money so they can go shopping in the world of the dead so now let's hope we make it to Alexandria without anyone being sick or kicking off in the car and here we are Alexandria So I made it into the centre of Alexandria. Feels like I'm in a huge city after leaving uh, Valley Cheshiruli. We're off to the pharmacy. Well, there's a supermarket. It's a nice big fountain over there. I've been told there's a park with loads of rides and stuff. So this is Alexandria's town centre. Amazing, wow. We found a market right in the centre. We're gonna go check it out and see if it looks any different to any of the other markets around Romania. Let's go inside. As you can see, you can get your tomatoes, your veggies again. What's new is the watermelon. for this Rosali thing where they give their people stuff. Normally there's a big party or carnival fair or something. Um, I suppose it's not happening this year because of Covid. Uh, go. We've got a Luga here, if you can believe it. So we're going to have something to eat. I'm starving. The main attraction of Alexandria a water fountain. And it's right by Windmark, the shopping centre where you can get all your goods from. We'll try to check it out on the way back. Are they doing something? Or did they say they were doing something and not do it? More than likely. So it's actually quite a nice uh, town centre. It's, it's nice and long. Uh, it could be really nice if there was some more bars and restaurants. And nicer shops. A lot of second hand shops. I see the China shop. There's a second hand shop there. in the park um, we don't know who's on that statue but I might tell you in a minute who it could be uh, we're gonna go see this monument here and there's another one and see who they are Liviu Basilica who's a big folklore storyteller basically he's very famous in the Telemann region that's the unknown hero from the 1989 revolution here in Romania, where they uh, crumbled the communism here with Ceausescu, when they popped him and his missus up against the wall. Local legend has it that during the revolution, a fella got so drunk, he fell over and he died. And they made him a hero of the revolution. And it could be that, or it could be that. We don't know. So we've left the park. It's pretty loud here. Um, quite a nice boulevard. There's a nice cathedral there. Is it a cathedral? Is that what you call it? There's a lot of them in this country because obviously it's an orthodox country. We're going to go see if we can find this other park which we've been told exists with... Uh, what does it have? 
bumper cars and stuff like that in it. Oh look, just seen another statue. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a statue over there with a man with a top hat on. And there's also a fella over here. They absolutely love their statues. So you go see who this fella is. So this one is Alexandru Johan Kuza. Um, he done a small union between the old countries of Latara, Romanesque and Moldova, which is obviously now part of the whole of Romania because Transylvania was put in there later on. Um, and that happened in around 1859, I've been told. So now we're in another park. Let's go check this one out. So the top hat chap is a lawyer. I've never seen a statue of a lawyer in my life. So that was Alexandria for us for today, um, it was alright, got us out of the house, uh, we didn't get to go to the museum, we will do next time, and we're going to do some shopping at Calfan on the way home. So to finish off Father's Day, we've been invited to a barbecue, and it's on the go now, um, I've had a nap as well, so I'm going to go sit down, I'm tired.